Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Um, so I'm back. Haven't posted in a while. Uh, just don't really feel like it. Uh, school, lots of other stuff, sports. Just a lot of stuff to do. But I'm going to try and post some more a little bit. Um, especially since now I'm going to be home for a long time because of the coronavirus. Very sad to the people I have it. Um, I don't want to get it. But I'm going to be home, so I might as well make some YouTube videos. So today, I'm going to be reviewing my Savi's Workshop lightsaber. So this is my lightsaber, and I'm going to, I'm going to like, talk to you about it first, and then I'm going to take it apart and, like, show you how to build it and stuff. But, so, this is my lightsaber. Uh, it's from the Elemental Nature set, and I chose the green crystal. That's why my lights are green. Um, so for my emitter, I did this one with kind of the pattern. And then front, it has like the wood. Like that. It's kind of hard to see. That kind of wood pattern. And then for my first sleeve, um, I chose this leather piece. It's a nice grip. It's not actual leather a hard plastic but it, it looks like leather and for my activation switch i chose the one with the patterns and stuff kind of like the emitter um i know you could have like made a lightsaber with like all these pieces i think and it it like every single piece would have had that on it but i liked this one and so it just goes up and down. And then for my second sleeve, I chose kind of the bone piece. Um, it's kind of rubbery. It feels cool. And then for my pommel, I chose the Rancor Tooth. Of course. Well, like, why not? I know everyone else is doing it, but it looks awesome. So, this is all the pieces. So... First thing you get when you build your lightsaber is the lightsaber chassis. That's what it's called. Um, now, down here is where the sound comes out, but it's also where the batteries are. So, it's kind of tough to get out. And it comes out, and then there's a tiny screw right, pretty much right where I'm putting my fingers. Not these ones, but if you unscrew this there uh you can change the batteries in it you need three triple a batteries if you want to know and then there is a little red arrow to kind of show you where to put it and how to put it in so oh, that's the wrong end and there's a red arrow inside of the lightsaber too But you don't have to worry about that when you're building your lightsaber at first, but you do need to pick a crystal. Now, at Savvy's Workshop, you can pick a green, red, blue, or purple, but you can also additionally buy a yellow or a white lightsaber crystal. And they all, um, they obviously all change the color, but they also have different hums, like clashes, just all different sounds. But when you put the crystal in, this is what it looks like. And it lights up and makes that noise. And then up here, you can see what color it is. Um, so the first thing you do is put on the switch. Now you can see the red and the blue here. And there's red on this part of the switch. And then blue. So you have to match up the spots. It should just pop on. like that and now it won't turn on without the blade in so i'll show you that later but now there's not like a huge hole in the middle but the switches are not very stable without the sleeves on so you have to add the sleeves now all these take are a couple twists 
and then they're on. Same thing, getting them off. Now, the emitter. This and the pommel take a little longer just because these need to be more secure. So like, everything else doesn't come off. Now it's all constructed. Still doesn't work yet because the blade's not in. Yeah, it's heavy. Compared to something like this, like this spring action lightsaber, this toy lightsaber, you can also see this actually has a belt clip on it too. Um, but anyways, something like this. You remember these, right? Oh, oh, wait, it didn't work very well. But this compared to like the Sabi's Workshop lightsaber, it's such a difference. This is a lot lighter because it's all plastic. This is my Sabi's Workshop lightsaber. And I think eventually I might get other pieces to switch. Now to put the blade in, all you do is on the black part, there are two metal things. As you can tell, this spot is a little bit bigger. See, small, big. And inside of the lightsaber, bigger and a smaller like kind of hook on thing. That's hard to see, but I think this one over here is the bigger and this one's the smaller. So, when you line them up correctly, the first time I did this, I actually did it wrong. Uh -ha -ha. That was funny, because um, we spent a long time trying to get it out. So you push it in, and you twist it. Let me make that sound again. So it makes that sound, and that's how you know it's in right. And then you just click the switch. And it comes on. Um, I'll try and get it in the dark shot. So final review on this bad boy i think it's awesome but i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten just because the lightsaber clashing noises don't come very easy and i feel like when you wave it around it should clash a lot more also it's a little hard to do like kind of tricks and twirling because it's just so big but that might just be me because i have small hands <laughs> um it's just humongous and it looks really cool. One of my favorite things about it is you can just have it laying here. And I, what I do is I have it like rest on the belt clip and you can just lay there like that on display. It looks cool, you know? Also, I just love that you can take it apart and the, I think the crystal looks awesome. I hope you liked that video. Have a great day. And God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Walk up in a bit too clean, I froze. They don't fuck.